Yeah? Good girl. Okay, don't get growly. Don't get growly. I know. You're safe. See? There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Hi, everybody. I'm just going to give everyone a few minutes or a few seconds to jump on. Hi, baby. You like that? You do? Yeah? Good girl, Lala. Look at your skin. Hi, everybody. This is Zoe with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. I am at the Miami-Dade Kill Shelter, and there was an urgent plea sent for this little girl. Her name is Lala. They named her Lala. She's about 12 pounds. Hi, Susan. This is not Stormy. This is actually Lala. Lala's about 12 pounds. She's a Shih Tzu mix of some sort. She looks like she might, she looks, she's got some curl to her hair. She might have some poodle in her. She's about, I don't know, five years old. Hi, mommy. Hi. She was uh, in the back. Nobody could see her because um, they said she was growly in the cage. She was but she has not done anything. She's, I'm just going slow with her, but she's been actually really good with me. Um, she's eating a little treat. I'm just giving her little pieces and she seems to be really enjoying her meatball. Actually, she's kind of ravenous with the meatball at this point now that she knows what it is. But this is Lala. We are bringing her into the rescue and she is gonna be going into that um, I think the little space, the new space that Bob and Keith created yesterday, they're kind of juggling dogs because we had put a hold on her and uh, they sent the email out for us to come pick her up. She is a, she looks like a Shih Tzu mix, maybe some poodle in there. Her skin, she has definitely been neglected when they found her. She was literally covered in ticks. They said, they called it a tick infestation. So it wasn't one or two ticks, but she was absolutely covered in ticks. But they did do the heartworm test. Hi, baby. Yeah, you like that meatball? They did do a heartworm test and thankfully she is heartworm negative which is amazing because she was infested with heartworm. But if you, as you can see, if you look at her skin, it's very, she's completely neglected. She's got, she has the little rat tail. You can see the little rat tail right here. And she's just all snuggled up in the, in the bed here, but, and they put a little pajama on her, but here that's a better picture. So you can see. Hold on, let me move the air conditioner if that's making noise. I hope you can hear me. Um, this is, you can see that she, her skin is just a disaster. Um, I'm hoping I'm clear. Are you guys able to hear me and see? La la. I know the sun's shining and if I come back a little bit, you can get a better view. She's about 12. I don't have my hand on the microphone. But if I turn down the air a little bit, maybe that's what um, maybe that's what was creating the, the noise. Is that any better? Yes, this is Lala's Freedom Ride. She's about 12 pounds. Um, I don't know why there's a why there's a noise. I'm trying. There's really no noise here. I'm gonna have to get my phone checked out. But um, she seems to be very happy to be. Um, rescued from the Miami-Dade kill shelter. She was in the back room. Nobody was able to see her. Her teeth don't look terrible. Um, they're estimating about five years old. And um, she's, I think she realizes now that she's safe. She just gobbled down a meatball. And as you can see, her skin is neglected. We're going to have to, um, you know, all of, we have to make sure that all her vetting is covered. We have to spay her. She is not spayed, um, as far as I can tell. And um, so 
If anybody is able to make any sort of a donation towards her care, we would be forever grateful because we have some big bills that just came in or that are coming in from um, Mickey, if you saw our videos earlier. And now we have this new little girl coming into our rescue and we are gonna have to make sure that um, you know her skin is taken care of. We're gonna have to spay her and uh, she'll be staying at Rescue House too, unless we have an immediate foster, someone who is willing to foster her, that would be even better. Hi, baby, hi, hi. She really is a good girl. She's very, she's looking for another meatball. So um, I only brought one. <laughs> so I think I have some more stuff in the back. So I think I'm gonna get that for her. But I wanted everybody to see our newest rescue. This is Lala. She's a 12 pound, looks like Shih Tzu Poodle maybe. Probably about five years old. Um, her, she's gonna be gorgeous once her skin is treated. That's from all the ticks and fleas that were on her. Um, and I'm sure that um, she'll get some kind of an injection to help uh, any kind of infection or, you know, bacterial infection that's going on there. But she is, um, she is safe with us. This is her freedom ride. This is Zoe with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida, and our new baby girl, Lala. Say thank you, Lala. Say thanks. Yeah, she's a happy girl. She knows she's safe. So, Shelly, if you can get Rescue House 2, get her little uh, room ready. That would be fantastic if you're watching. And the meatballs we use, for the people that are asking, we use the Milo's meatballs, and they absolutely love them. All of our dogs love them. So, um, I usually have a couple. Um, like, if I'm going to pick up a dog, um, I'll bring a couple because they, all the dog. I don't know any dog that doesn't like it. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you can donate anything towards her care, we would be so greatly appreciative. Right, baby? Say thank you for watching. This is Zoe and Lala with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.